This is SIU. Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Welcome to Southern Illinois University Graduate School. And uh, I'm going to discuss about electronic thesis dissertation process that most of our graduate students have to follow uh, in order to submit their thesis or dissertation for graduation. I am Dr. Ratna Sinha and I'm the Assistant Dean of Graduate School and I will guide you through the process as I go through, you know, over my uh, slides. In spring of 2005, the Graduate Council approved mandatory electronic submissions of thesis and dissertations and you are required to submit ETD at the ProQuest submission site. Thesis and dissertation must be submitted in one PDF. So why ETD? There are several advantages why we chose to switch from paper submission to electronic thesis dissertation submission. Why ETD? It's to improve graduate education through more effective sharing, opportunity to better express your ideas through color, audio, video, animation, hypertext, etc. And worldwide access to scholars, timely sharing of technology, knowledge, peer review, and economical because when you used to do paper copies, it used to cost students much more because we require 25% cotton paper, which is expensive. Now with one PDF with, you know, a few clicks, it's free, free to the students. So the benefits of ETD in a nutshell is economical, multimedia usage, immediate access for the whole world, and no appointments that you have to make to see me, and no boundary. All you need is internet access, so it doesn't matter where you are, which country you are, you can upload your PDF. To help you with the formatting, I have created several templates that you can follow, and if you follow the templates, you will find it's very easy to um, follow the guidelines and all you have to do is follow different templates and fill in your own information. So I have created several uh, templates like the title page, thesis title page, dissertation title page, research paper title page, copyright approval, abstract, dedication, preface, table of contents, list of tables, figures, and Vida, Vida which is not uh, your regular um, curriculum Vida, it's just an academic Vida. So there are certain guidelines that you must follow, and if you follow correctly, you will be in the right direction. So here is an example of the template. This is the template of the title page, all you have to do where you see the yellow highlights, just replace those with your own information, your title, your name, your um, degree information, your major, etc. So the system is UMI ETD Administrator, which is managed by the ProQuest. To identify some of the common problems I would like to share with you is the organization of materials. If you follow the templates, certain it, you have to follow certain organization. It must be in order. Like first the template, first the title page, then the approval page, then abstract, then acknowledgments, then table of contents then list of tables and list of figures. So if you follow the templates in that order, that will be the organization of materials. Page numbers, Roman numeral page numbers, and Arabic page numbers. For the front matter pages, 
you must have Roman numeral page numbers that are bottom centered. When you begin your chapters, you start with Arabic page numbers, which are usually placed in the upper right corner or bottom centered. Sometimes students forget to click the submit revision button. So you have to be mindful about that. Sometimes I see pagination errors in PDF. Copyright permission, if you take anything copyrighted from any sources, you must obtain copyright permission. Sometimes I see that missing. And sometimes students, instead of uploading at uh, ProQuest, they email me. No, you need to upload your document at the ProQuest submission site. And for research papers, you upload at OpenSIUC. So these are the organization of materials I just shared. So if you follow this um, order, you will be in the right direction. And if you're using articles in your thesis or dissertation, some things you need to keep in mind that they need to be in chapter format and there should be one comprehensive list of references at the very end. You cannot have list of references at the end of each chapters. And a preface is needed for multi-authored articles. This is um, to explain what part of work is done by you, the author, and if there are other authors, what part of work was done by them. So a preface is needed, along with journal references. Supplemental files. You can upload data files, spreadsheets, big maps, video clips, etc. in the supplemental file area. For example, uh, mass communication media art students can upload an entire movie, you know, at the supplemental uh, file area. So some of the tips for formatting is be consistent, use same style font, same size, same style font and same size font. Full justification is not allowed. Make sure your text is left justified, which means the right margin should be ragged. Double space the entire document. Running heads are not allowed. And one, min one inch margin all around. Chapter headings must be in all caps. So for example, chapter one, introduction, it should be double spaced and then it should be in all caps. Place table headings on top and figure captions below. So table on top, figures below. And there should be one comprehensive list of references at the end. And references at the e end of each chapter is not allowed, like I said. Let's talk about embargo. You can restrict publication of your thesis or dissertation up uh, for six months, one year, two year, or even for indefinite period. For those of you who have patent pending, you can um, request for indefinite, but you do have to put a, a time limit, you know, on ProQuest. And ProQuest will prompt you for this embargo, and it's up to you. So you can discuss with your advisor and decide what would be appropriate for you, for publication reason or for patent pending reason. So in ProQuest, here's a screen that shows embargo options. So you choose yes or no. And if you choose no, I have patent pending, then you have to choose six months, one year, two year, or the, until the following date where you need to insert the date. And publishing options. I would uh, suggest you choose traditional options because open access publishing costs extra through ProQuest. And if you do want open access, 
SIUC open um, has a, a open access which you can use. So the cost for traditional publishing is there's no fee. SAU library copy, however, requires $28 for unbound copy that comes from ProQuest to the library. And then copyright fee is $55, which is optional. And SIU open access is free if you choose to do so. Deadline dates. For fall and spring, the deadline date for final submission of your thesis or dissertation is always the week 12, Friday, Friday of week 12. And for summer, it's Friday of week four. And no exceptions. We do not make any exceptions for um, submission of thesis or dissertation. And all revisions are due by the deadline date 4.30 p.m. because I must have must approve all your thesis and dissertation by that day. There is a format check deadline, which is a week before the final submission deadline. That is to help both the student and the approver to give, uh, to give us more time so we can complete our task in a timely fashion by the deadline. So the format check deadline is the Friday before the final submission deadline. So this is the workflow. Student applies for graduation, student pass defense, student submits forms to the graduate school. We need one approval form, must be original with the signatures, one oral defense form, human subject, if applicable, and survey of earned doctorates. Student submits PDF to UM, UMI administrator or the proper system. There will be multiple revisions and reviews. And finally, you'll get an approval email from the approver saying congratulations. To order copies, you may order copies from the university bookstore. You can take your unbound copy, uh, hard copy, to bookstore and they can have it bound for you. You may order through ProQuest, but it will take longer to receive your copies. It can take as long as six months to receive copies. To find out about your status, you will receive emails. Emails for revisions are sent out to the ATD administrator site. Be sure to check that account. You will get an email about major revisions required or minor revisions required or if it has been accepted. Copyright permission. This is very important. If you use any copyrighted materials in your document, a figure, a chart, a picture, or a large amount of you know, text from any copyrighted source, you must obtain permission from the author or the publisher. Uh, for copyrighted materials, example, photos, tables, figures, etc., and insert permission letter in the appendices. So why copyright? To protect your work, establish a copyright claim, protection against infringement, and registration is necessary to file an infringement suit. That's why you pay the $55 copyright registration fee. And that would help you with the statutory damages and attorney's fees that will be available to the copyright owner in courts. Public domain. Copyright does not <coughs> apply to things that are in public domain. 
For example, works that never had copyright protection and works that no longer have copyright protection. The public domain also includes most works created by the United States government. All works in the public domain are free for the public to use. Works published in the United States prior to 1923 are in the public domain. Copyright law came into effect in 1978. Fair use, there are certain things that are considered as fair use, such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. So for fair use, that is like government document, which is easily, readily available to public, you know, it is considered as public domain and you don't need uh, copyright <coughs> permission. We do have ETD support for students. For ETD assistance, call 618-453-4014 or you can email at ETD support at siu.edu. And for technical support, you can call directly ProQuest, since it is their system, they can answer you uh, questions such as um, if you have a large document, you know, the file size, they can help you with those um, kind of questions. And you can also email them at etdsupport at ProQuest.com or call them at 1-877-408-5027. Morris Library started digitizing old theses and dissertations that are available to campus and OpenSIUC is our institutional repository and research papers are submitted to OpenSIUC since fall 2010. So in summary, follow the ETD guidelines, the templates. As you start writing your thesis and dissertation, I would recommend you follow the guidelines and templates so that you know it would help you with the proper uh, formatting. Assistance for PDF conversion is available at Morris Library. ProQuest technical support is there. ETD, submit ETD to ProQuest. And then we will review and revise multiple times and submit your approval forms to the graduate school. Remember, it's one approval form and one oral defense form. We must have those to approve your thesis or dissertation. And do not forget to apply for graduation uh, by the deadline, which is week four at the beginning of the semester. And submit all forms to the graduate school and then just wait for uh, to be approved by the graduate school. So at the end, this is what you're hoping, that we would say congratulations, and once a Saluki, always a Saluki. Thank you. <laughs>